Good morning, Oakdale Academy. Welcome to our opening ceremony for the last day of school before spring break. Today is Friday, March 27th, 2020. This is our custom and tradition. If you would please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And this morning, if you would please join me in my country, tis of thee. join me in our morning prayer. Almighty God, we beseech you with your gracious favor to behold Oakdale Academy, our faculty, staff, parents, and students, that knowledge may be increased among us, and all good learning flourish and abound. May we be a beacon of your light in our homes and communities. Bless all those who teach and all those who learn, and grant that in humility of heart, we may ever look upon you, who are the fountain of all wisdom, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Before I do our modified recitation for this morning, just a few birthday wishes as we go into spring break. Uh, happy birthday to Alex P. today. Happy birthday, Alex, as well as to our own Mrs. Benninger. Happy birthday today, uh, Mrs. Benninger. And over spring break, we have some birthdays to celebrate. Hopefully, you'll be able to do something special over spring break. So happy birthday to Richard T. Uh, Piper F. Happy birthday, Piper and Richard, as well as both Mrs. Neighboring and Mrs. Wilkie. Both celebrate birthdays over spring break, too. So happy birthday to all of you, to Richard, Piper, and both Mrs. Neighboring and Mrs. Wilkie. Hopefully, you enjoy those special days while we're on break. This morning, I wanted to share a, uh, a poem from a very famous American poet by the name of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, and his poem is entitled, A Psalm for Life. Tell me not in mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream, for the soul is dead that slumbers, and things are not what they seem. Life is real, life is earnest, and the grave is not its goal. Dust thou art to dust returnest, was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment and not sorrow is our destined end or way, but to act that each tomorrow find us far farther than today. Art is long and time is fleeting, and our hearts, though stout and brave, still like muffled drums are beating, funeral marches to the grave. In the world's broad field of battle, in the bivouac of life, be not like dumb, driven cattle. Be a hero in the strife. Trust no future, how are pleasant. Let the dead past bury its dead. Act, act in the living present, heart within, in God or head. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another, sailing o'er life's solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing shall take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. And again, that poem by uh, Wad, uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, just it kind of kind of should typify for us um, that 
we are called to certain moments. And as we prepare to be even further away from each other over spring break, um, let's just remember that, that we are called to certain moments. And I, and I really continue to remind us that, that this is one of those times, this is one of those seasons in the history of our world where we who are believers in Christ, we who know the truth, are called to act in a way that would show this world the love of Christ as we go through. You know, these next uh, few days and week while we're on spring break, I just want to encourage our students as we go forth from here and as we uh, take a break from our online uh, learning experience and as we we certainly hope and pray that things will improve here in our country and around our world with this um, viral pandemic that's going around and that we'll soon be all able to join with each other. I cannot wait for the day that we are able to open the doors to Oakdale Academy and welcome you all back. I look so forward to that day uh, with great anticipation, but until that time comes and even after it comes, let's not forget that we are called to set those footprints in the sand, as Longfellow said, so that others can see and others can watch what we have done during this time. This is the great test of our time for us as believers to show that love of Christ as I've talked about. So let's remember that as we go through and let's remember wherever we are, whether it's virtually or whether it's at our uh, lovely school over in Waterford, that we will be able to continue to build each other up. We'll be able to continue to work for God and we will continue for as long as God gives us the ability and the chance to do so at Oakdale, to instill character, truth, and wisdom in our students for one reason, and that is to prepare them for a life of service. It's to prepare you, our students who watch this every day and who see this opening in person when we're able to, to prepare you for a life of service to God first, to your family, to your community, and to your country using this beautiful methodology we call classical Christian education. And I just want to encourage you as you go through spring break to take some time off, take some rest, but also be a light in your communities as we go through. I look forward to seeing some of our lower school students during a reading time later on this morning um, and cannot wait to the day that we can all be together. Until then, I will see you a week from Monday uh, back here on opening ceremony Enjoy your spring break, enjoy each other, and I look forward again with anticipation of the time where we can say it all at the same time, because I truly think that this phrase is meaning more and more certainly to me and hopefully to all of you, that we will be able to show Christ's love together. For together, we are classical, we are Christian, and we are Oakdale. And let's go out and do that over spring break. Enjoy that time off, enjoy the time with your families, and I'll see you a week from Monday at opening ceremony. And you're dismissed to your virtual classes for the day.